tell what I'm up YouTube. So I'm doing a review on the Connected Gushers Whole Flower Control. I got this on three different occasions. I got the half ounce bag and the uh, two or three containers of the whole flower uh, glass containers. It still smells pretty fresh. I got it at September. It was uh, the same one. As, uh, it was like the, sec the second one that was working with Truly and I got my medical card. Uh, I just opened it now. I've been saving it because Gushers is one of my favorite flowers. As you can see, I got this new pipe, a new metal pipe from the smoke shop. It looks just like a gum pack. So it's a disguise pipe. I got it just in case, like when I'm on my break or when I'm in public. So it looks like I'm just having a piece of gum. And just in case, like if anybody would search me at work and I had this, they would just see that it might be a pack of gum. <coughs> I haven't had a metal pipe in a while because of COVID um, and metal isn't really sanitary usually. But a lot of my glass pipes have been breaking so I have to step it up, get something a little bit more discreet and reliable. And can you believe it? The smoke shop uh, had this for $30. The lady sold this to me for $15. So it's just the metal disguise pipe that looks like a pack of the old school gum. Pretty cool. Um, I mean, it's a disguisable pipe and there would be times where you need it even when you are a medical patient. I got this uh, as a backup pipe because usually my glass pipes break. I got it more when I'm in public so I can use it or like when I'm at work and I want to have like a break or something and I'm having like anxiety. That way it's more discreet and uh, the other day actually I had an empty container on me three weeks ago my label and receipt and it was when I clocked out and it fell out of my bag. It was empty. I didn't throw it out and then uh, yesterday, they put me into the office. The manager called me, and there was the loss prevention guy that came in, and they asked me, "Why did you have an empty container with you?" And I told them that I forgot to throw it away because I accidentally brought it in my bag, and it fell out. And I had to explain that I bought it on a certain day. And I offered to show them all my receipts because uh, I have all of my receipts during the months that I've been shopping at Truly. So. And then they just let me go on with my work day. And they just asked, uh, okay, well, we just wanted to ensure why you had the container. Um, so they basically made it clear that they're not accusing me. They just wanted an explanation to why because I wasn't technically supposed to have in my bag. So now, um, like whenever I need to wipe the dose, I'll be using this and just bringing like a little bit of flour with me so they don't suspect anything or thinking I'm taking anything. But yeah, and I carried on with my work day because they didn't have any evidence to accuse me of anything. They didn't have any physical footage or anything. They were just wondering why I had it. And I forgot to throw it out and it backfired on me. It made me look bad. And I had the receipt and label, of course. Uh, I didn't provide that information because my manager just picked it up and he said he dropped it and he gave it to me. And he said, that's very important. He didn't question me about it. But I guess as a manager, they had to get the profit prevention officer involved just so they can see if there was anything going on any shrink but clearly they weren't uh, having any evidence 
to back that they asked me just because I had it and they wanted to know why I had it with me. Because we're technically not supposed to carry containers when we're at work, so I decided that I'm not going to bring my, my clear bag to work anymore. It's company policy that we should bring like a clear bag. I would bring like my shirt, uh, baby wipes, and like drinks with me and my charger in it. But now I'll just wear better pants and just squeeze it in my pocket so they have less suspicion to think I'm hiding their property or taking something. But yeah. It's uh, the second day after we had that interview and it was like an hour interview. I wrote a written statement. They didn't have any evidence to accuse me of taking anything. They played back the cameras and they said there was nothing suspicious going on. They just wanted to know basically why I had the empty container because it looked kind of bad that I had it at the moment. Of course, they didn't ask me for a label or receipt I offered. I offered to send them a follow-up email and I said I have the physical receipts at home. And they said, no, that's not going to be necessary. We think you're fine and we have access to your transactions, but we didn't see it as your recent transaction. And they didn't know that I bought it in December and I told them it was December or it wasn't this month. And they were like, okay, that was what we were wondering about because we didn't see it at at the recent transactions and they were like okay you're fine thank you for coming in and clarifying whatever and then I went on with my work day and that was it and you know if I would have took it anything I wouldn't be you know working that day after that I was still working and they said okay you can go back to your job duties carry on And I'm a great shopper. I mean, they had every, you know, reason to clarify why I had the empty container, but they didn't accuse me of taking anything. They just wanted to have a statement to why it was there. But yeah, I have enough flour at home. And I told them I've been using my pipe and like I've been using joints, but I've been saving flour. So the flour, that I got the crypto chronic was December. By the way, this gushers that I saved from September, it tastes really tropical. I love it. And I've been loyal to them. I haven't been shopping at any dispensary like my other co workers been doing. You know, to not make the company look bad. But yeah, have a good day and enjoy.